Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the easiest way to set up a Snapchat ads account and also claim some ad credits along the way so that you can make your ad dollar stretch even further when you start running Snapchat ads. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that you will want to do is check out the link down below. It will take you to this page where you can claim these ad credits when you sign up for a new Snapchat ads account. You can see if you spend $350, you can get up to $375 in ad credits. So if you're gonna be spending that money anyways, it's basically like free money. So we're gonna click here, get started. It is then going to ask for your business name, email, and password. So we're just gonna do Zoco demo here. And then I'm gonna go and fill in the email, password, and birthday. After that, it is going to ask for your username. So you can go and add whatever you'd like. We're gonna call this Zoco demo as well here. And then this is kind of cool. It will ask for your website. You can see this is optional, but if you click this little box here, it can import photos from your website that they can add to your profile. So I would recommend adding this. You can always remove the photos later if you don't like them, but we're just gonna add our website here. Make sure I add the www dot of course and then we're going to hit create account and then here we can add our profile picture and our bio and you can see right now it is uploading those brand assets that we added from our website so I'm going to click here and add a logo once you have that uploaded in there you can make adjustments so it's kind of centered we're going to put it right there hit ok and then you can add your bio let's just do like a little bit about what your business does we're going to hit confirm here and now it's going to ask for some business details including the country we're at the currency and then our phone number here it is optional and then you can opt into their like promotional things I don't like to opt into that but you can if you you'd like to but then you can go through and hit next after that okay and then this is cool this is where you can choose basically your ad credit package so you can choose to either spend 50 and get 75 spend 350 and get 375 or spend a thousand and get a thousand so you can get up to a thousand ad credits now with this one thing important to note is to earn this credit within 14 days of accepting the offer get now the account must occur the spend stated there so if you don't think you're gonna spend a thousand dollars in the next 14 days you may not want to go with that option you may want to go with one of these smaller options or this bigger option just keep that in mind you know if you're not sure maybe go the lower option if you're 100 sure then go with the recommended here we're going to stick with the spend 350 get 375 here and hit next and you can see snapchat is going to drop you right into the ads builder where it's going to give you the option to either instant create an ad or use the advanced create ad feature i wouldn't recommend going through and creating an ad just yet you can if you wanted to if you do go with one of these options i do recommend the advanced create because it gives you more optionality and the best chance of getting a successful ad but before we do that there are some other things that we would want to set up before we start running those ads so what i would recommend is clicking on here on the ad readiness and come over to the these steps and let's walk through these to complete your snapchat ads account so we'll hit complete here okay and once we click on that you can see we can do one of these three options here we're going to verify our email so it's going to send an email make sure you check that you can see once you set up your account you should see an email that looks something like this so we're going to hit confirm email here okay and after you click that link your business should be verified it may send you two different emails so be sure to check for that I went through and added my address and now I need to add my payment method here now when you are setting up your payment method you do have the option to do a credit card PayPal apply for a credit or even a prepaid account. I would recommend most of the time going with a credit card. I think it's the most reliable option, but of course use whatever is best for you. So I'm gonna go through and add in my credit card information here. And then as we scroll down here, the next thing we want to do is set up our pixel. Now Snapchat has lots of different partnerships in place that make setting up the pixel very easy. Basically the pixel allows you to enhance your performance. So get better performance by connecting your website builder to Snapchat and setting up a pixel. You can see here is a list of some of their common partners. I'm going to be setting this up for Shopify. So you can see what that's like. I imagine most of you, that's what you're going to be using. But if not, you can click on any of these options and it will walk you through instructions on how to do that. But for Shopify, what you're going to want to do is come over to your Shopify store. So we're going to come over here to Shopify. We are going to go to the apps and we are going to search for Snapchat ads. So we're just going to type in Snapchat ads here, click on this one. And you do want to make sure that the developer here is Snapchat ads. Then we're going to hit install, then click install once again. And then you can see this is all the benefits you get by connecting these. You're going to be able to sync your products super easily to Snapchat and then install the pixel in a few clicks and then build like audiences such as retargeting audiences and optimize your campaigns to drive purchases, not just clicks. So we're going to hit start setup here. And then we're going to connect this to our Snapchat ads account. Then you're going to continue here. And then if you use the same email, it should automatically find that. So you can see it found our Snapchat ads account here. Then we want to scroll down here and accept and save these settings. Make sure this is correct. Then after that, you're going to have to click one more time, accept and save settings. Oh, actually that one click got us where we need to go. If for whatever reason, this one isn't saved, be sure to go back and scroll down and click save there as well. But now we should be good to go here. All right. And there is one other thing that we want to check is we want to click on here and data sharing. Now, chances are, if you just set this up and you're looking at this, this is going to show like a red and it's going to look like it's not set up correctly. You need to give it a couple minutes and then it will turn green. Like it shows there. You do want to just double check. Usually I just look at the last like five letters. So we have four F C three, seven, and then I like to come back over here to my Snapchat ads account. And then what I like to do from this view is come over here to pixels. If you don't know how to get back to this view, click on this little top left-hand corner and then go to business dashboard. Once you're there, you can come over to pixels and then you just want to make sure that those numbers match up. So you can see there, I have 
the 4FC7, which is the exact pixel there. So like I said, if this is showing red, give it a little bit of time and it will show up green. You should be good and connected as long as those are the same numbers. So now when we come back over to our Snapchat ads account, we're going to come back over here to the business dashboard. And then you can see now we're getting really close on the readiness. If we click here, the last thing that it wants us to do is finalize our public profile. Now, if you plan on doing things organically on Snapchat, this might be a good idea. You can go through and add like a couple of different stories, but to be honest, most of the time I don't really do that. I mean, if I'm just running ads, you can see if you edit the profile here, this is what they want you to do to be quote unquote ready. This can help your engagement a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. If you don't do this, you can go through and get started and create a story if you wanted to go that route. But I don't typically do that. What I do like to do though, is review the event quality. This is from the pixel setup. So if you click review here, it is important to know, as you saw there, it will take around 24 hours for events to start showing up in your data. So you can see right now it's not showing anything, which makes it looks like it's not set up yet. But after 24 hours, come back here and review this to make sure that you are seeing page views and things go onto your website and kind of move around in the site to fire those events. But wait for 24 hours to start seeing those inside of there. If you don't see anything right now, then don't worry about it. Now, a couple other things that are important to note, getting your account set up. If you did want to add other members to this account, you can come over here to members. And this is where you can add the specific member by sending it to them an email. You can see you can invite members here, send the email, and then you can specify the role that you want. And if you are curious what each role does, you can hover over these little icons to see which each role does. And then the last thing is if you click over here and hit create ads, this is where you can actually start running ads for your account. Now that you have everything all set up, it's going to take you to that view where it's going to ask if you want to run an instant create or an advanced create. Like I said, I would always recommend going with the advanced create because it gives you full control over your ads. And honestly, you can get better results that way. If you aren't sure on how to run Snapchat ads, I have a full 100% free course. I don't try to upsell you anything in that course. You can check that out right here. Hopefully you find that valuable and we'll see you in the next video.